everyone, I'm Jillian from Sound Dietitians. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. And as some of you have seen me before, I do some cooking demos for Sound Dietitians. So since you're all in the comfort of your home, I thought I'd welcome you into my home and make a fiesta. So today we're gonna to be talking about different ways that you can use your Instant Pot. And um, I'm gonna use it in three different ways for this fiesta video. I'm gonna use it to make a Spanish style rice, a pinto beans from, uh, from dried beans, and I'm going to use it to make um, salsa chicken, which will be the base of our fiesta. So we'll just get started. Uh, the Instant Pot, if you've never seen one before or uh, played around with one, it has a twisting lid, so it, it twists to lock on and twists to lock off and it sings you a little song while you do that. There's two settings on the lid, a ceiling setting and a venting setting. The ceiling setting is for when you're doing pressure cook, pressure cooking, um, and the venting setting is if you're doing more slow cooking or sauteing, um, things that don't need to be under pressure. So we're just gonna start by adding a little bit of oil to the bottom, and we are going to start with the saute feature. So basically, what this feature does is it turns the bottom of the Instant Pot into um, a hot plate. So you would use it just like you would a skillet. Okay. Um, when you hit the button, it normally takes a couple of seconds to register. You don't have to hit start for any setting. You just, um, you just hit what you'd like and then it pauses for three seconds to reset and then it'll start. Um, whatever setting you set it to. And once it's warm, we're going to add the onions and garlic. You, one way you can test to tell if your oil's hot enough is you can drop a little piece of onion, and if it sizzles, then it's ready. If it doesn't sizzle, it's not ready, because um, you, wanna, you want it to sizzle so that the onions don't end up absorbing all of the oil. Um, and they get that nice caramelized coat on them, which really impacts the flavor. Now it's sizzling and we're gonna add, it's um, half of a white onion and maybe the equivalent of two to three garlic cloves. If you, um, if you prefer more onion or more garlic, feel free. There's really no specific way to cook this recipe, it's very simple. It's just kind of um, fills it to what you like. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. So we're just gonna saute this for a couple minutes just to kind of get that um, caramelization and the translucency of the onions. So the onions are starting to get a little translucent. I'm gonna let it go for maybe a minute or two longer before I add some other ingredients. I'm going to deglaze the onions with some water. Deglazing is just when you throw in some liquid to um, scrape all of the bits off of the bottom and get the flavor infused into whatever liquid you're putting it into. So we're essentially making like a stock that uh, the rice is going to soak up all of the liquid from the stock. That we're so next we're going to add a can of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. This has some liquid in it, so don't don't drain it. Just keep it the whole can. Just dump the whole can. Okay. And then we're gonna add the rice. We're going to add um, a sprinkle of salt. You can leave this out if you are sensitive to salt. And a little bit of pepper. We're gonna give it a stir, and then we're gonna put the lid on and seal it for 24 minutes under high pressure. Okay. So I 
I'm sealing on the lid and I'm gonna set it for 24 minutes. And you wanna make sure that the tab on the top is set to sealing because it's under pressure. So we're gonna let that go for 24 minutes. It will take a little bit of time to come up to pressure, but once it's up to pressure, it will start counting down from the clock. And then uh, you can choose whether or not to let it release the pressure naturally, or you can move the, the toggle at the top to release the pressure manually. Uh, I will say that if you have the older version of the Instant Pots, to be extra careful, because the steam will burn you. So you wanna make sure you either have a towel over the top or you use an object like the spatula or something like that. That is going to bubble away and I will come back when this is finished. While you're waiting for either the rice or beans to cook in the Instant Pot, you can spend a little time making some sides. So today I've prepared a strawberry pico salsa recipe. Um, strawberries are really delicious in season right now and I wanted to find some creative way to use them and since we're doing a fiesta, I thought what better way than a pico. So what I have here is just some finely chopped up strawberries that are kind of in the same consistency that the tomatoes would be in a normal pico salsa. And then I'm going to add some uh, red onion that's similarly cut. This is half of a red onion and you don't have to use all of it. I just wanted a little extra and you can eyeball it because some people are a little more sensitive to red onions than others. So we're just gonna do about that much. I have one jalapeno all cut up. Again, you can completely omit this. Um, I will say when you're buying jalapenos that you can, the bigger ones are usually less spicy and if you take a spoon to, um, to scoop out all of the seeds and membranes, then it's really not too bad at all. I'm gonna say that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to add a full avocado. I've just um, sliced this avocado in half and removed the pit and then done some scoring down the sides. They're full of healthy fats. They have both mono and polyunsaturated fat, which is better for your, um, your heart and your cholesterol than um, some of the saturated fats would be, um, like typical butter, and coconut oil, anything that's solid at room temperature is a saturated fat, and anything that's liquid at room temperature is, has mono and polyunsaturated fats. So like olive oil or grapeseed oil is full of mono and polyunsaturated fats and coconut oil and butter would be better or would be more saturated fats because they're both solid at room temperature. Okay, that's really good. Okay, next I'm going to add some cilantro that I have chopped up. Again, eyeball it to your likes. Um, you don't have to use cilantro, you could go all out and do parsley or something, or you could just omit it all together. I know that some people do have a cilantro aversion and they think it tastes soapy. Thankfully, I don't have that, um, and I love cilantro, so I'm just throwing it in. But feel free, feel free to omit. Okay. Um, next, I have mixed together about one tablespoon of honey. You could also use agave um, or a simple syrup, uh, but honey gives it that really yummy kind of caramelized flavor. And then I have also added the juice from half of a lime into here. So it's going to turn into kind of um, a salad dressing, you can think of it. Um, so I'm just gonna stir them together and then I'm just gonna pour it on. and we'll mix this up really well so we don't have to worry about any clumps. And then you wanna add a little bit of salt just to bring out all of those flavors. This is 
gonna be so good. Okay, and there you have it. Super simple strawberry pico that you can layer into your tacos or that you can eat while you're waiting for your pressure cooker to be finished cooking. So the timer just went off for the rice. I'm going to show you how I release the pressure. So I just take a kitchen towel, probably good, fold it over in half. I lay it across the lid, and then I take some kind of utensil and just release the pressure like that. That way you don't burn yourself. <laughs> Once it stops hissing, you can twist and unlock the top. I'm just going to fluff it. Oh yeah. It looks really good. Okay, I'm just going to scoop it into a bowl because this is ready to go. Now that the rice is ready, I'm going to move on to the beans. I'm going to start the same way with the saute mode and then adding the onions and garlic uh, and then sauteing them until they're translucent and a little caramelized. Okay, I'll add a little bit more oil. Since the pot is still hot, I did the sizzle test, dropped it in an onion, and it's sizzling. So I'm just going to add the rest. This is the other half of the onion that I used in the Spanish style rice. And then a couple more cloves of garlic, because we like garlic in this house. Um, and if you don't, feel free to omit. There's no hard rules. Mm. Yeah. So with dried beans in the Instant Pot, you don't have to soak them ahead, but you do want to make sure that you sift through them. So what I do is I take the dried beans, today I'm using a cup, and I put them onto a plate just like this, and then I sift through them and remove any of the broken beans or if there's any kind of like stones or pebbles in there, because sometimes they do get stuck in there, um, I remove any of those. Um, and then when you're using the Instant Pot, you can just use them as is. There's no need to think the night before or anything like that, and they cook up just great. Even better than canned beans, in my opinion. Now that the onions are translucent and the garlic smells really delicious, I'm going to deglaze again with, the, with four cups of water. And then I'm going to add the dried beans. And you also want to throw in a bay leaf, but since we only have the bottom of the barrel bay leaves and they're all in pieces, I'm going to use a soup sock, which is just like a, a mesh sock. Um, just so that it's easier to remove them because you don't want to have any bay leaves end up in your beans um, in the final product because it can fill up your stomach. <laughs> so I'm just going to tie this up. This just makes for super easy removal when the beans are done. Okay. And then in they go. You want to make sure that you do not salt your beans. Uh, at this stage you want to add any kind of salt or seasoning that includes salt after they've already cooked. Because if you add salt at this point, it will prohibit the beans from um, taking in the moisture of the water and softening. So you don't want to open the Instant Pot to have hard beans. I'm just gonna pop the lid back on. And we are good to just hit the bean button. We're gonna reset, bean button. 
ceiling. Make sure it's on ceiling again, because you're pressure cooking. And then let it go, and I'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay, the beans are done. I'm gonna do the same thing with the towel to release the pressure. Okay, let's see. So it's better to add too much liquid for the beans than not enough. And um, it's simple enough to just strain them. I'm going to remove the little bay leaf pouch and then I am going to strain them into this bowl. gloves on because the the inside container is hot. Thank you. Okay, so I've dumped the liquid and now I'm just going to keep the beans there and those are ready for the assembly line. Next I'm going to move on to the salsa chicken which today I'm doing a salsa fair day chicken you can use any kind of your favorite salsa. I normally use red salsa, but I felt like switching it up tonight. So what I'm gonna do is super, super simple. It doesn't get easier than this. I'm using chicken thighs. I'm just going to lay them into the pot. I'm using chicken thighs because they're usually a little cheaper. Um, and they have a little bit more iron and a little bit more fat, so I think that they taste better and for the money it's definitely a steal. So you put the chicken into the pot and you just dump the whole jar right on top. This is the simplest recipe yet. So we're just going to seal it up. Make sure it's on sealing because we want to cook it under pressure. That, that's what makes it cook faster. And then we are going to hit the poultry. So we're going to cancel. We're going to hit poultry. And then we don't have to do anything. It will just start by itself. It'll come up to pressure. And then I'll come back when it's done. So the chicken timer went off. Uh, you will notice that there are uh, numbers on here because when the timer goes off, it starts to count up. So that way if you leave the house or something like that and you have your meal cooking, you know how long it's been since the timer was up, which I find to be very handy. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I've done with all of the others. Release the pressure. So now that it's come down from pressure, we're just going to oh, unlock it. Okay. And so the chicken is all cooked. It looks delicious. And I'm just going to go in with two forks and shred it up so that we can have shredded chicken tacos. So the chicken is all shredded up, it smells delicious, I'm just going to assemble my taco. So we have, again, the uh, salsa verde chicken, which is just the jar of salsa verde and some chicken thighs. We have your vessel of choice. You could even make this into a, like a taco salad over some greens. Okay, I'm gonna do some rice. So again, th these were the pinto beans that were uh, cooked from, from dry beans. This is the Spanish brown rice that um, has your extra serving of whole grains. And then the strawberry pico salsa. I also have some 
yogurt here that's homemade yogurt. I will see you next time. Thanks. <laughs> I feel like I should tell stand up. Tell me a joke. Um, I don't know, I joked. Besides, <laughs> orange, you're glad I didn't say vanilla. You could get a nice facial. Hi. Uh, Beanstein. It smells really good. <laughs> <laughs>